Okay, welcome to End Zone World of Park. See here is a game. Saw so, thought I might be interested in. Um, kind of looks like a kind of city builder type management strategy game. Um, really excited to get into it. I have played just a little bit of the tutorial, but can't ever get time to sit down and just do it. So we'll try try it here for a little bit and uh, see how it goes. Um, I'm going to start with a new game. Um, yeah, we'll go with a tutorial. That way anyone watching this who haven't seen this game before, it's kind of a newish game. Probably one of the newer games in my library. <laughs> I'm pretty cheap when it comes to game games. So we'll do the main tutorial and let's see. Oh, okay. Now let's just do main tutorial, start from the beginning. I think it might be a little easier for me, kind of get me caught up. At least, like I said, I only did a sm very small part of the main tutorial. So, let's see what it looks like. We finally left the end zone. Just look at this beautiful scenery. It's marvelous, even though it's a bit different from what we had pictured. We were able to secure a few basic resources and are storing them in our bus. And I am keeping, you know, just kind of keep going with the story, so um, won't be skipping through anything. That way, everyone can kind of see what's going on. Okay, let's build ourselves a new home. I'm glad we prepared ourselves well for this kind of scenario, especially since our inventories in the end zone ran low. Don't forget that if you need additional information, you can look at our survival guide at any time. Let's do it. So, survival guide up in the corner, right behind my FPS counter. <laughs> um, open survival guide, first task. Okay, so, you can read that. Um, those four sellers can work the same task at one time. Oh, so we got wood gathering, scrap gathering, plants. So, looks like food for plants. Um, everything. So I'll just do a little bit of everything, which is cool. And remove radiation by digging up the soil. That's kind of neat. This is something I did not get into last time, so. Well done. Task completed. Everything that was easy. Know should be right here. The whole game was like this. I, I think, think we find before just we can fine and dandy. At all, we have to assign the profession builder to several settlers so that they can take care of construction contracts. In general, it's your responsibility to decide which tasks are important and how our settlers are supposed to be distributed to attend to them. Okay. So open the profession menu and assign settlers to the profession builder. So we need to do three of them. So there's this little red blinking thing down here. And there's three. Alright. Your builders will be ready as soon as construction Once again, contracts like all, have been issued. Well, majority of these kind of games. WASD move around. And most mouse wheels zoom in and out. I'm sure there's other ways to do it too. Oh. And I was accidentally cycling through some overlays. <laughs> Q and E to rotate. Okay. The first thing we ought to do is to establish water a supply. working water supply. So we'll move on to our first construction contract. Place and build a jetty by a lake in the vicinity of your town set. Okay. So building a desk down here. Here's a jetty. Zoom out a little bit and. I think we need to rotate it. Okay, so there on the right, rotates R, and that uh, looks pretty good right there. Place it. And now it just needs to be built. Look at that. Our people are moving. And while he's doing that, I'll check my graphic settings really quick. I guess everything's on high, so should be good to go.
Like we came in a little uh, bus, RV. Oh, we been a party bus at one point. <laughs> Probably not the kind of party they were thinking of, though. Or at least we think of. A tractor over here. Like me, scrap train wreck. Oh, truck wreck, I was gonna say. I didn't see no train. Uh, car wreck. Scrap pile. Electrical power pole. Wow. Quite a bit of stuff with that. And they're building away. Um, let's fast forward. Oh, there we go. That was the quick. jetty was completed as planned. Now we have a place where we can collect water. There are other possibilities to gather water too, but the jetty is the simplest and most cost-effective method. Okay. So the jetty is the cheapest we way to get water. We can and store water from different sources. And like a jetty, probably not the most efficient way to well in the cistern. The cistern should always be in close proximity to a water source, so that our water carriers don't have to walk too far. I'll have to keep that in mind when um, laying out the cities and future. I'm not best at laying them out, especially when I've never really played the game before. But I'll just set it like right next to it. Um. Then we need a sign sellers to professional water carrier, which is right there. So we need three. Running out people fast. And produce 100 water, and we'll get 200 water. Hey, it works. Mm -hmm. Some deer. Yep. Let's walk through. Don't mind us, I guess. <clears throat> so it looks like up here it tells us how many adults we have, children, which can help transport food and water to their home. But the adults who most work, we got all of our materials up here on the top. Speed up a little bit. Some materials that it looks like we can't get to right now. And knowledge. Required to perform research it is either generated by researchers at the research station or found in the course of side quests or on expeditions. Interesting. And there we go. Hey, looks like they built a cistern. Pretty, uh. Huh. Looks like an above ground pool, which is with a tarp in it. That's funny. But wherever it works. Great. We have now installed a working water supply, and water is now transported from the jetty to our cistern. Consider hiring more water carriers if you don't have enough settlers available. You can never have enough water in storage. Cool. Now we should focus Understand. on food production. It's important to ensure the supply right from the start. A gatherer's cabin, a hunting lodge, or a fishing hut can directly remedy the situation. I suggest starting with a fishing hut, since we're already located near a lake. That'll work. Fishing hut it is. Who doesn't like fish? It takes a little bit to catch him, but you know. Where should we put it? Let's see. I think I have some of it. All right. I like. I guess. Oh, there we go. Efficiency. 100% efficient. Yeah, let's put it there. Do we just have tree fall on our sister? That's not good. And should we be collecting resources? Tasks. Oh, we never mind. can't do anything. So tasks, that's how you gather wood, scrap, plants, remove radiation, all that stuff. But they locked out, so it must be coming up in the tutorial. 
Let's see, we need to assign two settlers to become a fisherman. And wait for them to produce 50 wood. Good work. We've now taken care of our basic supply via food and water. Make sure that you have enough food and water on hand at all times, especially if you want to upgrade your settlement. A population that grows too fast can quickly unbalance your food and water supply, bringing major difficulties for you if you don't watch out. Okay, good to know. Crops are another excellent way of getting food because they constantly grow as long as the soil is moist enough. Each seed has different yields and growing times. This means that it could take some time until your field is ready to be harvested. In contrast to your fishing hut, where production can be right away. Okay. Interesting. Let's, uh, oh, slower a little bit. <laughs> While we get things figured out. So, soil mo moisture. We, you. Don't really have very good soil moisture. If, well, we, this is all wet. This is kind of dry. But if you notice, it is changing too. You'd think that right by the lake be a little uh, wetter. Problem is, I don't want to go too far. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's drying out. Um, well, this is a tutorial, so forgive me, but I think I'm just going to build it, build a field like in here somewhere, kind of by the water. I don't know. Okay, looks like you got to do at least a 6x6. Six six. Let's just do a 6x6. Six six. That works. And... Probably should assign a farmer. Want one farmer. And need to choose a seed. So do black salsify. We are some fields. Is that a real plant? I'm not sure. If it is. Uh let me know what it is. Because I personally haven't heard of it. Um cabbage. Kinda looks like it wants us wants us to. Yeah, that's, well, growing time, 1.9 seasons, max yield, 144 food. That takes longer, it looks like, eh, it's about the same, probably, without breaking down the math, but just looks choose that. Good. Remember that we need the widest variety of food sources to stay healthy. You should also plan ahead for drought periods that might come when it's not going to rain. Stock up on food and adapt your production to avoid bottlenecks. I'll show you a few more strategies later on. Hmm. I get what he's saying, but I feel like it's gonna take a few minutes to get all that figured out. So. At the beginning, we don't have much scrap say. wood or other resources. We could build a production building, but to obtain resources as fast as possible, it's best that we start gathering right away. Assign a gather all resources task. All the settlers who haven't been assigned any profession by you are going to accept these kinds of tasks. In addition, settlers distribute resources within your settlement. Let's do it. So we need to gather wood and scrap. What's this? Oh, we got homeless sellers. Oh, we're not supposed to be. Yeah, we can't even give them anything yet. So, calm down. Hmm. Let's do somewhere close to home, like right there. That. And once again, we can gather ooh, quite a bit of scrap we'll do it right there. Cool. And I'm sure I'm going to have to put someone on that. Well, I don't see it here. Oh, here we go. I guess I just have to wait. So, looks like free settlers will just automatically gather, possibly. Nope, 
There's a couple people. One person there. Moving around. Kind of funny watching him walk in the fast game of speed. Let's see. Ooh. One of them crews. The fastest. Since we now own plenty of resources, we can start to build a real production building. Then you don't have to always make efforts by hand that collecting is taking place. Production buildings are not only easier to manage, they are also distinctly more effective than simple tasks. Don't place production buildings too far away from your settlement. You'll be able to change their working area at any time later on. Cool. Do that. Right on. The best thing for us to do now is to build a forester's lodge to automate our supply of wood and make it more effective at the same time. Foresters are not only able to chop down trees, they reforest areas with trees as well. Okay. Yeah. Fine with me. That's a lot more efficient than just gathering. Resources, Forester's Lodge. Let's see. Let's so put this on more than this side. Go like right there, so it's not too far away. I can build that. And we're gonna want to assign someone to that. This is probably one of the more detailed uh, management, city management, uh, city builder type strategy games I've played. Um, these ones I've played, you don't have to really assign everybody. Not all the time. You just have to have, make sure you have enough people. That's fine. Learn how to play. Oh, what's going on here? We've got something going on here. Cistern. Storage capacity in this building is running low. Wow. The tank is already full. And in stock production limit reserved. Hmm. So what is the? Uh, oh, we can only hold two thousand. Wow. That's uh, pretty low. Can we build another one? Just to have it? I feel like it's gonna be a good thing, right? Like I said, you can never have enough water. Good job. You might want to change this building's working area later on to tell your workers where they should get their wood from. Ah, and for your information, if you want, you can also tell your forester's lodge that they only ought to attend to reforesting an area in order to create a lush, green forest which generations to come can use. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Understood. Very good. This guy's pretty long-winded. <laughs> He's got a lot to say. Scrap. Scrap is one of the Legacy most valuable should be. resources because the quantities present are limited. Same quite a bit. Can we learn how to play games from scrap? Unlike the task we just had, the scrap yard allows larger quantities of existing scrap to be dismantled than with ruins or wrecks. Cool. So we need to build a scrap yard. Let's see resources again. There we go. Scrap, probably the most. Yeah, let's do this right there. And we need to assign settler to scrap collector and produce scrap, which it looks like. Yeah, he's they've almost chopped all the wood down. In that case, I'm gonna get rid of this if I can demolish. Builders demolish. Mark building, small chain of building recover some of the resources that were originally used for construction. Okay, so I just think, yeah, being that was just a task, it shouldn't matter. And what's going on here? Gather wood. Only a little bit. Um, these trees. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and demolish this too because we've got. Forests are here, and I'm thinking we're gonna change that over there. So you can change field of work 
I'm gonna change it back to this area so I'm not trying to, you know, grow trees right around the, the van. Let's go ahead and, yeah, cut down every force. That works for me. And, like they are. God, we can't, like, fix the tractor. <laughs> Great. You can change the working area for the scrapyard, too. We can recycle scrap into four additional resources. Cloth, metal, plastic, and electronics. We'll do that shortly, but for now, we ought to take care of your settler's needs first. Ah, uh, okay. So, those additional resources up here that we don't really have access to yet. Our people want a place to sleep and live. Cabins fulfill their need for safety and privacy and increase the confidence of their inhabitants. In other words, building cabins increases their willingness to start families and <laughs> reproduce, if you know what I mean. Hmm, Arthur, I don't know if I do know what you mean. Let's see, need to build some cabins. Eight cabins, wow. Oh, it would be a good place for the community. Uh, let's uh, and do this. One, two, three, four. Oh, we can't match him there. Uh, yeah, let's go. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I'm not sure what the best for laying stuff out is yet, so that's fine. We'll get things figured out. Hey, there we go. Ground is starting to get dry, wet again. So it's kind of like a little bit of kind of like I've been playing Frostpunk lately, and you know this tells you what's coming up. Frostpunk does the same with you know weather, you know how cold it's going to get, so you can kind of plan a little bit. Um, looks like rain can be contaminated though. Well, we don't have any contamination levels in the area, so that's good. Okay, we got two more buildings. Oh, each one's a little different. Well, for the most part. So these two are same. Sorry, these. These two too. <laughs> they must just have it rotated every four buildings. Since it started, um, from right to left, and, have an and everything storage is kind of interesting. Rate. Children living in houses gradually fill up the house's stockpiles. Settlers do not reproduce in a shelter because they lack privacy. Okay. Let's return from our excursion into housing and refocus on scrap. With the help of a recycler or refinery, Scrap can be sorted into four different resources. A recycler always takes scrap apart, one resource at a time, while a refinery automatically produces all four resources. To start off, you should build a recycler and produce cloth. I don't know, kind of like a refinery if it does all four resources. That's kind of cool. Can we not do that yet? I guess probably not. So recycler and... Let's uh, put it over this way, like backside of these guys, since we have, you know, scrap right there. Um, recycler assigned builders. Okay. Refiner, and we need to produce four cloth. Notifications: oncoming drought. The soil's going to become infertile. That's fine. Oh, you can have radiation protection, too. Looks like we must be uh, harvesting our cabbage right now. Okay, so cloth looks like it's automatically just selects cloth, which is fine too, which is up here on the top of the screen. cistern is full again, the main one. Um, our second one we built is already halfway. Um, no contamination at all, so that's good. 
hate to give our people contaminated water. Oh, wouldn't be very nice, I don't think. Link these houses a little bit closer. Not much to look at, but, you know, I guess it's uh, bare nothing. Laying outside. What is this? Oh. Some. What, wild pigs? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so we need to. Oh, we got two cloth, and we need two more. I like how they want you to build a. F or, you know, produce a few cloth, and as a reward, they're gonna give you basically <clears throat> triple what you, you know, made to complete it. Works for me. There's our scrap. You can instruct your recycler to produce a different <coughs> at a time. Excuse me. It's important that you focus on the resources you really need, at least in the beginning. Cloth and metal look like good options if you want to equip us with protective clothing and tools. Yep, let's do it. These settlers are industrious settlers. That's why we ought to look after our people and protect them against the surroundings and dangers, like radiation. So, let's start by transforming our newly recovered cloth into protective clothing. A tailor Holy cow. will be able to help us with that. Yeah, we must be on a drought. The, uh... The lake is gone. There's a big dust bowl now. <clears throat> Good thing I collected food and water. They weren't wrong. Still no contamination level. Okay, you gotta build a tailor's shop. I'm thinking go just fine right beside that since they produce cloth there. Um, sign a settler again. Like I said, you can't <clears throat> just build a building and expect to be filled with workforce right away. You've got to you know, sign someone. Probably let's see. Sorry about that, I guess. And a little bit of a frog stuck in my throat. We got people happy, so that's good. I almost have them up to contentedness, average confidence. So we just gotta produce a nice scarf, which they are doing. We categorize they make two out of time? Radiation into four levels. No radiation, low level, medium level, and high level radiation. The radiation changes constantly and is influenced by weather and contaminated rain. Protective clothing helps to protect us against this kind of radiation, but it takes a while before it's produced. And production relies on a steady flow of incoming resources. Try to establish production chains at an early stage and start to stockpile goods so that some are always on hand. Hmm. Okay. That take that makes sense. The tools we brought along from the end zone are slowly but surely running out. So now let's focus on manufacturing new tools. The tools will help us to work effectively. We'll need metal for that, so we'll prepare for production by building another recycler, which we'll commission to recover metal from scrap. After that, We'll need a workshop to enable the manufacturing of brand new tools. <clears throat> Works for me. Let's see, let's just build another recycler. Let's uh, just put it right beside. There we go. And a workshop. And... Mm. 
tractors in the way. Bummer. Let's put it right there. Watch me. Can you not do like paths or anything? Or do the can they make their own paths? Oh here we go. Logistics. Oh okay. Like we can't do anything with that yet though. Let's see Technician and refiner. Uh oh. Where do people do stuff? We got plenty of water, so we'll go ahead and oops. Pump that up to finish this task. Let's look at these buildings. It's like the recycler looks about the same. <clears throat> kind of neat looking tailor shop though. Oh, look at that light. Is that in the... Oh, I thought that was like a wood barrel. Maybe for a can. For the can light or something. That's kind of... Being kind of like weird but kind of cool at the same time. Okay. So... I need to produce... I don't have metal so we're going to have to just use scrap and wood. Oh, wait. We got to make it a... Yeah, they need to produce metal first. And we'll have them produce metal tool. Okay, yep, because we won't make metal tools. Hey, deer. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Think you're around the place or something? Just walking right through the workshop? Gosh. Yeah, I act like you're at my house. Just walking right through my yard, and you know, my garden. Well, we'll start hunting them sometime soon, and... Jokes on you. Ha, ha, ha. What are they waiting on? Metal, probably? Yep, use metal. They got some metal in progress. So it tells you up here population growth. Kind of neat. It tells you where you're at. Right now we're growing population. Doesn't tell us. You know if we have anybody without homes? Or do we just have to Okay. Interesting. Well that house is almost empty, so I guess we don't have to worry about it right now. Hey we got our lake back. Get people fishing. And there we go. We got a uh, guy over here taking care of the metal duels. <coughs> Does a lot, an awful lot of wiping his forehead for uh, not doing a lot. With our lovely new tools. Now Another task completed. Look at that. We're on a roll. Should you ever run out of metal, keep in mind that you can also instruct your workshop to manufacture tools from scrap instead of metal. Though they won't be quite as effective, it's still better than being forced to work with bare hands. Hmm. Down in the end zone, we had sufficient time and resources to educate ourselves properly. But our children don't have this luxury. We ought to build a school and pass on what we've learned. As a result, they will be able to survive and work better and more effectively. Okay. Let's build school. And it looks like we'll need to assign a teacher. So would that be under housing or community? Community. Um, let's put this... Go like... Like right... There... Oh man, okay, I hope it didn't. That triggers anybody? No, well, too bad. <laughs> the houses are a little offset. I thought it might have been, but I wasn't really paying attention. Let's build this. Yeah, let's do it right there. Oops, crap. 
don't want to do that. Too many. Um, cancel construction. There we go. So build next. Okay. So we can. It's like we can change the list of priorities also. And we need to. Sorry, teacher. Perfect. Yep. Besides the fact that educated hey, children more work more right. effectively, we'll also teach them to be more careful with their protective clothing and tools. This, in turn, leads to them staying intact longer, and we can serve valuable resources. Oh, we want to do that. Now that our resources are hard to come by. We ought to again turn our attention to the topic of food production. We are already accumulating fish and tilling our fields. A gatherer's cabin will now enable us to gather mushrooms and berries from the forest nearby. Where should we? Gatherer's cabin. Uh, food. There we go. Hmm. So, about 1500 there. Ooh. That's a good area right there. You assign two sellers for the gathering cabin and then uh, just let it produce. No, what's going on here? We got homeless sellers. Well, we can take care of that pretty quick. We know how to do that. Thank you. Thanks to our uh, guide. So, put a house down. What's that school look like? That's kind of. Ooh, colorful. Like, uh, we let children draw pictures just wherever they want. That's cool. Hmm. Be interesting. Kind of weird looking school, but it works. There we go. Should take care of that. Take them a minute to like get in there, or we still will not have. Enough. Okay, fine. I'll build another one. People are pretty needy. Let's just build two more. Just be sure. Okay. Still need to build a cap. There's cabin. Let's uh, go ahead and build this one next. Give it high priority. It's out there a little ways, so. I don't know. Might not have been the best idea, but that's right. So these people that don't have anything to do, we have okay, quite a few that don't have much to do. Let's add a few to builder. Got plenty of other stuff. So actually, how many do we have out to gather? Eh, that looks good. We still have. Still have homeless? Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, look at that. They have a little baby. Very good. As you can see, the gatherer's cabin is an effective possibility to get food quickly. But watch out. After a drought, it's going to take some time before the plants have regrown. As is the case with most buildings, here too, you can relocate the working area at any time. Okay. So I guess... Although we are sufficiently supplied at the Wait moment, our survival depends on diligent planning. If we can lay out a plan for an orchard, then we can start to plant fruit or nut trees that we can harvest after a few seasons. So I guess berries and stuff um, just kind of grow back eventually. That's, that's kind of nice. Uh, let's see, where should we put the orchard? Put it like right there, but what's. Yeah, soy mo moisture is just terrible around here. Mm, let's put it over here. 6x6 six six again. Yeah, let's do a 6x8 six right there. Uh, we're gonna need a. 
Mm, another farmer? Possibly? Do seed. Let's do... I guess we only have plums. Let's do plums. The orchard has been laid out, and the trees are already beginning to grow. Similar to crops for farming, trees need some time until they are fully grown. But once they have grown, they can be harvested again and again until they have to be newly planted. Cool. Our gatherer's cabin gathers food from the surrounding forests. However, there are any number of other plants there which we can use as well. These plants can be gathered by an herbal hut. The herbs gathered there can be consumed by settlers to replenish their health. Okay. So, I need a barrel to herbal hut, but I feel like we still have homeless, so let's go ahead and uh, keep trying to keep people happy. Ooh, this is really going to trigger somebody if I do this. <laughs> go ahead. There we go. So, can we put the same spot? We can. Yeah, that works for me. And then we need to assign an herbalist. And assign a few more builders. We have plenty of people. And hopefully, we uh, can take care of these homeless here pretty soon. That takes care of things. Getting quite the little community built up over here. <clears throat> this was another game that I played. I wanted to build parks and stuff to keep people happy, but can't quite do that yet. Like, we're out of room for water. So I feel like probably a good idea to, to build another cistern. Put another one down. I'm kind of tempted to lay out one across from there. Uh, we'll wait for now, see what happens. I don't know. What do you guys think of the layout? Let's uh, go ahead and build that next. Just trying to keep, you know, manufacturing kind of over this way as far as resource gathering and everything. The actual manufacturing behind the cisterns. I don't know if things catch on fire, but hey, you know, you'd have access to water. So I'm really deciding where to put my fields. I feel like that's a bad spot, well but done. for now, it we works. We can equally utilize the gathered herbs to convert them into medicine later on. It might happen that an illness breaks out in our settlement from time to time and spreads among our settlers. That's why we always ought to have enough herbs on hand. Okay, Arthur. Radiation is the main reason why the health status of our settlement can decrease. Although our settlers already use protective clothing to shield themselves against environmental radiation, it might occur that our sources of water become contaminated. We should start to filter our water to prevent this from happening. We will need a great deal of charcoal to accomplish this. The charcoal kiln will burn wood to produce charcoal. Hey, look, that looks like we got rid of our homeless. Cool. Well, we will call that it for now for this episode. Um, looks like a fun game. Uh, it's, like I said, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty decently detailed. Um, App looks kind of neat. Too. You got city over here, or a little like town or wherever. Another one here. Um, some more lakes around the map. If you look up here. So let's uh, call it quits for now and uh, we'll save this up so we can see the tutorial for next time. I hope you enjoyed it and we will call it a day.